Instead of you paying your electric bill every month, imagine your electric company paying you. That would be pretty cool, huh? Yeah, sign actually, me up. Yeah, actually, it's not too good to be true. One man is getting credit for using nature's power. Jessica Clark brings us the story from our Southern Bureau. The man who owns a St. Augustine Beach hardware store has found a hot way to make some cool cash. We have so much sunshine in Florida, okay, and the sunshine is free. Then why don't you use it? Dr. Tim Chu's solar panels collect solar energy. They pipe the juice, as he calls it, into this converter, and voila, electricity. But I only use about one third. Yeah, so I have two thirds, I reserve it. I send it back to FPL. You send electricity back to FPL? Yeah, by law, they had to accept it. Chu generates more electricity than he needs. His different looking meter shows that he's used 1,825 kilowatts of electricity since January, but he has made 1,000 kilowatts more. So Chu does not get a bill from Florida Power and Light. He gets a credit. Last month, he got a $166 credit. Oh, yeah, we're great. <laughs> They're great. Chu says a solar energy system for a family of five would pay for itself in 10 years. So far, Chu is the only man he knows who has the electricity generating solar panels in St. Augustine. He's cool without a bill that would make him hot under the collar. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, your news leader. Now, the initial cost of the solar panels and the installation was $42,000. The state and federal government gives rebates covering about 70% of that cost, though. Chu ended up paying $14,000 total after that rebate.